Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 8744. Today guys, I'll be doing my Asian Cup 2023 predictions guys. I want to know your guys predictions in the comments below guys and we're going to go ahead and get started. Now before we get started though, I do want to make some announcements real quick. So this is just my predictions guys. This is just my opinion. I have nothing against your countries. This is why I believe your country will finish in each position. We're going to predict the entire tournament from start to finish. These are my final predictions by the way. Another thing to note is that this is going to I'm going to be giving you guys an opportunity to for you guys to give your guys your thoughts on the tournament. We'll do a live stream for that on Friday at 12:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it'll be roughly around an hour to discuss about the Asian Cup. So if you want to be interested in that, please hit me up on Twitter or on Discord and I'll send you the link there. And like I said guys, I can only have a maximum of 6 people. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started, guys. There will be time to the description below for your guys' convenience. And like I said, guys, I'm going to just do a quick fire predictions. I'm not going to go too much into details of why I believe this team will finish this position for the video's sake. Um, so if you guys want to know more exp more of exp explanation, just hit me up in the comments. Anyways, I think we did a really long introduction. I think we should get started. So starting with um, Group A here. So Group A here. We have here is Qatar, China, and Tajikistan, Lebanon. When you're looking at this group... I have to say this will be a very tight group. I think this will be a very competitive group in the sense that I think all the nations are kind of around the similar level. I don't think there's one nation that's like heads and shoulders above the rest. And even even though Qatar is the host, I still think there are some concerns with this team. So, that being said. Okay, so coming in last place, guys, I just think that for me it's going to be Tajikistan. I just don't think they have enough quality to compete in this stage. I was looking at the roster. It doesn't look that great. And i just not been convinced. Not really convinced whatsoever. They weren't there at the last edition. I don't know where all this hype is coming from from Tajikistan. I need people to elaborate for me in the comments below. And I just don't think they're going to do it. So I think they'll finish bottom. Third is Lebanon. Kind of around the same thing as Tajikistan, to be honest. I'm not really get convinced with them. They're kind of in the same position as them. I do think they have better quality, though, than Tajikistan. So for that reason, I do think they'll get third. They will not advance as one of my third place teams. I do not have them advancing, just like in 2019. And I think they're only going to pick up one point. I don't think they'll do well in the group stage. And I, at best, maybe two points. Maybe they can get something against China, but yeah. And then for me, China second place. Another nation that's been really disappointing. I expect more from China. They got to do better. China needs to do better. I need to see other players step up because just Wu Li alone isn't going to be enough. And Qatar, even though I have them to top this group, I do think this group is pretty mediocre, and let's be real. I do think Qatar locked out with the draw. If they were in any other group, I don't know if that would have probably I wouldn't be as confident. First place. So this is my quick roll overview for those I missed it. Moving to Group B. Now this group is actually pretty interesting. I think this group for me is very very interesting. Let's just get the obvious out of the way. Australia will for sure top this group. That's one hundred percent guarantee. They did really well in the World Cup 2022. They defied their odds and even progressed from a group that a lot of people didn't fancy them. Even people had Tunisia over Australia. I think Tunisia were more picked to advance over Australia in that group. So for the fact for the fact that Australia actually managed to do it is quite commendable. Now this is where things get very tricky for that second and fourth. I'm gonna go second place as I'm gonna go with Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan for me are really solid. I think they have this amazing striker, um, the amazing striker partnership. I'll probably put it up a screen here for you guys. And I think that guy has been incredible. I think it's like Sum Sumotov. Um, probably something like that. I'm probably butchering his name. I apologize if I do. That guy has been in fire. And I think Uzbekistan have a really good attack. Third, it's going to be Syria. I think Syria for me are kind of not that great. Uh, they haven't really been great ever since the 2018 World Cup qualifiers. Where they agonally lost to um, Australia. And I just feel like for me, Syria just don't really do well in Asian Cups. And I just don't think they'll do it. And the fourth for me is India. I'm really hoping I'm wrong with India as, you know, guys, as you guys know, India is be the team that I'm actually going to support the most in the Asian Cup, you know, because I do have some origins from India, even though I'm actually Bangladeshi. Um, this is like the closest neighboring country to India. So, you know, I do hope they do well, but I'll be honest with you, I don't really think they'll do well. I just think for me, India, for me, the big issue I have with this team is their attack. I just don't think their attack is good enough, and I think they're going to struggle in this group. So this is... My predictions laid out here nicely. Moving on to Group C. Group C, for me, it's a very interesting. I think, for me, the worst group, uh, worst nation in this group is definitely Hong Kong. I hope they can do well, though. I believe this is the first time they competed since, I think, 
No, I think it's the first time they've ever competed in their history. I think it's the first time they've ever competed. So this will be a huge, huge achievement for them. But yeah, they're going to finish bottom. Um, oh, by the way, I don't think Serial will advance as one of the third place teams. Sorry to say, I forgot to mention that earlier. Third place I have in this group is going to be Palestine. I think Palestine for me are really solid. I like the makeup of this team. And I think they should be able to do it. Um, and they'll get the job done. Second place I have is UAE. Um, they have that really good striker, Ali Magboot, of course. And I like the UAE team. I think the UAE team is definitely on the rise. And um, look out for UAE, man. And then Iran for me should top this group. These, I would be surprised if Iran don't top this group. So this is my predictions. And yes, I do believe Palestine will be one of the best third place teams to advance. I put it in bold. Group D. Wow, this might be one of the most competitive groups in the Asian Cup. And might be the best group. Obviously, let's just get this one out of the way. Japan will for sure to top this group. That's pretty obvious. <clears throat> Second place, I'm going to go with Iraq. Iraq, for me, are a really solid nation. I really, really like what Iraq does. Iraq always do well in these kind of tournaments. You know, go to the quarterfinals. And, you know, I think Iraq could honestly maybe get to a semis. Now, do I think they have what it takes for a final? Eh, that's going to be difficult. But Iraq is definitely solid. Vietnam, for me, I'm going to put them third. I'm not really been impressed with Vietnam. Not really been impressed with the new coach coming in. I feel like for me, Vietnam, for me, they need to improve their attack. The attack doesn't look great. I think their defense has been solid, but their attack needs to improve. And Indonesia, even though I have them finish fourth, I think they'll make this group very competitive. And I think they'll they're gonna put some fights. They're not gonna go out there like and bow up. They're gonna they're gonna give some respectable showings, and I think they could do something in this group. But yeah, I do think they'll finish fourth. And I do think Vietnam will just about progress as one of the best third place teams. Group E, Korea Republic should be able to top this group with East. Now, second place where things get very interesting because I think we could see an upset happen in this group. Because I'm going to go with Bahrain to finish second place. I think Bahrain for me are pretty good defensively. I think they're well organized defensively. And <clears throat> that's the key in these kind of tournaments. To have defensive structure. And defensive uh, stability allows you to do well. So I think Bahrain will do it. Third, this might surprise a lot of people. I think Malaysia is going to do something. I think Malaysia is going to do something. I wasn't really impressed with Jordan. I think Jordan, for me, have kind of regressed ever since that 2019 Asian Cup. And kudos to them. They actually topped the group with Australia. I just think Jordan, for me, are going in a downward trajectory. And I think Malaysia is on the rise. So I'm going to go Malaysia just about get third. And I do think they'll progress as one of the best third place teams. And I think Jordan will unfortunately finish last at this one. So this will be very close, so very competitive. And I think the second place one is very wide open. For sure. And then finally, the last group I have is Group F. I have here, obviously, Saudi Arabia will top this group with ease. Oman should be able to get second place with their defensive structure and solidarity. And then third, I'm going to go with Kyrgyzstan Republic. And I'm going to go with fourth, Thailand. I think Kyrgyzstan Republic have more in their firepowers, and I think Thailand for me are, I don't know, I don't think they have enough quality for me to do this, so I'm going to go with them to finish bottom. Now, let's do a quick fire knockout stage prediction. So, Kyrgyzstan I have is one of the best third place teams. So, quick fire. So, I got China versus UE. I got UE to progress, progress this one. I don't think China's, I think this is where the road ends for China, and I think UE can be a potential um, title contenders. Japan versus Malaysia, unfortunately, as much as I want the Malaysia story to continue, I think Malaysia will have their demise come here. Australia versus Vietnam, I do think Australia will triumph over that one quite comfortably. Bahrain versus Saudi Arabia, now I was all tempted to go with the upset because, <coughs> excuse me, I've not been impressed with Saudi Arabia under Mancini that much, but I do think they'll just about get the better at Bahrain, but this will be very close, so I could see Bahrain maybe do something here. Iran versus Kyrgyzstan. Iran should be able to do this one. South Korea versus Iraq. Unfortunately, this is where I think the road ends for Iraq. This is a very tough draw for them. And I think this is where it ends. Qatar versus Palestine. I think Qatar beat, wins that one just about. And I think Oman versus Uzbekistan. I do think Oman pulls through on that one um, with their defensive, um, with how good they are defensively. Moving to the quarterfinals, I have UAE versus Japan. I think Japan triumphs over that one. Australia versus Saudi Arabia. I'm going to go with Australia to win that one. Um, I think from I think for me Australia is more organized than Saudi. Iran versus South Korea. I'm going to go with South Korea to win that one. And then Qatar versus Oman. I'm going to go with Oman to actually shock the host there and to eliminate Qatar in the in the tournament. And then for the semifinals, I have Japan versus Australia. Japan to win that one. And South Korea versus Oman. I have South Korea to win that one. Unfortunately, Oman train ends. 
And then finally, this is the final guys I have. And South Korea versus Japan. What a final this would be, man. What a final this would be. Mina Mino versus Son. Wang Gi Chan versus Endo. Oh my jeez. This will be an amazing final. And I don't think we've had this final in a long time. Like, I think this is the first time we could have this final in a long time. They did, you know. And I think South Korea will finally win this. I think South Korea will finally win this, guys. I really like the makeup of the Saudi South Korea team. I think they're very solid. A lot of people will pick Japan. And trust me, Japan's probably the more favorite team. But I'm going to go South Korea to pull through. I think South Korea will do it, guys. And I think they'll do it just about. So, hope you guys did enjoy this predictions. A quick fire predictions around 10 minutes-ish. Uh, like I said, guys, I know I did very, very concise. Um, and so, like I said, guys, um, feel free to ask me in the comments if you have any questions about my predictions. Let me know your predictions as well. And if you guys did enjoy, please remember to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button down below, guys. It really helps the channel grow and helps the algorithm. Hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.